Today we're going to be looking at the BIOS on the Asus P5QE and we're also going to be overclocking it a bit from its nice comfortable 3.6 gigahertz on the Q9450 to the try to push it to 3.7 and as far as it can go before we have run into problems. So as you can see it looks like your standard BIOS right here with all your, you set your time, all your SATAs, uh, storage configuration if you have a RAID and that kind of stuff system info now we can see that we have I have the latest BIOS um, how much system memory I have and the speed of the processor so we'll escape out of that go up to the AI tweaker here and you can see it's crazy there's a whole bunch of settings you could do and change so right there is you just you can set that to a uh, manual or auto there you got your uh, multiplier and you actually uh, use the plus and minus keys to adjust that CPU frequency same thing uh, there's your uh, front side bus I have that to 33 and here's you can change your uh, memory right now because it's overclocked it's uh it's not your standard option, so that's why it's saying all those goofy numbers. Here's this stuff. I actually have no idea what this does, because this is the first motherboard that I've had this ability to change this setting, whatever this is, in a BIOS. I have no idea what all this is, so I'm not even going to mess with that. There's just your uh, standard timing control. You set that to manual, and then you can just uh, change that to whatever clocks you want to that your memory can handle. We'll just go down. We got all these uh, memory timings you can change. A whole bunch of crap. I actually have no idea what the heck it is. It's just ridiculous. And uh, I suggest you download this video in a uh, high definition, 1080i, 1440 by 1080, because you'll be able to see this a lot better, and then you'll be able to uh, get a better look at the BIOS. Instead of YouTube's crappy little quality, let's keep going through. There's a there's tons of settings here. Here we're into the CPU part. See the voltage? You actually uh, you don't have any settings to change it to. You actually uh, put directly the direct number you want to put in, like say 1.25. But I just have it set to auto right now. And all this right here, you just put in numbers directly, 8,000 million. Um, six, six, six. But basically, you get the point. On all the voltages, you just put, uh, you just key in the numbers directly. Obviously, so you can see there. And you just got all this other stuff down here. Now let's go and do the advanced. You got the CPU configuration. We can see our clocks, front side bus. Oh, I forgot to show you guys this thing. When you're overclocking, adjusting your front side bus, it'll actually show you what your memory is going to be at, which I thought was pretty cool. You can see that jump up. So we'll just put that back where it was. Back to advanced. You saw the CPU, so chipset. So. Don't want to mess with that if you don't know what you're doing. Change all this stuff here. It's your onboard device. Just like your firewire, your firewire uh, audio, stuff like that. LAN ports. USB configuration, just standard stuff. It's your uh, PCI, PNP. And then let's go to power. Got all this stuff. Then uh, configuration right here. Power on by keyboard, all that stuff you don't care about. Here's your hardware monitor. It takes a couple seconds to load that up. So we can see what my uh, fan controls, CPU fans running at. See that jump up and down. Set that back how it was. see motherboard temp CPU temp it's alright for the overclock I got and just turn that down a little bit 
fan that just kicked in was a uh, Skyth 110 CFM I just turned on. And right here you can see your uh, voltages. You can ignore it, like say, oh, I don't care what that is, so it don't show up. But I don't know why you do that. Then you can go back to your boot, all your just devices and stuff like that. You can change which ones you want. Then you're just, uh, like your quick boot, all that stuff, like the logo at the front, display that or not. Here's your security. Put the password on your computer. And you got your tools. The, uh, uh, flash for the BIOS update. You got your drive expert. That's like, I think, for easy raid setup or something. I'm not really too sure what that is. Here's your express gate I showed you before. That's like the five second boot up to the online stuff. And your, you can save overclock profiles, like save one, and, and then uh, you know what that is. The net gear, that's just some garbage. And then right here, just uh, all your save and discard changes. All the options right there. So that was a quick look at the Asus P5QE BIOS. Hope you enjoyed it. So now I'm going to try pushing my Q9450 from 3.6 to 3.7 now. I'm going to just adjust it to 463. That times 8 is 3700. And we see what my memory is going to be running at there. I have DDR1200 so that's it's still underclocked so i got plenty of headroom there. So we're just going to see what my temps are running at real quick. Eh, not too bad. Still got that voltage on auto. Let's see if it boots. There's the cool logo that comes in like that. See if we get it to boot past Windows or not.